He says, oh, because uh, you're not here to pray. So I said to him, I said, look, uh, are you going to stop a Muslim from praying? How are you going to answer Allah when your day comes one? <laughs> and he was already in a place to move the side. Now I went inside and I'm never afraid with uh, Sunni Muslims. Yeah. And so bending down and praying, I was just watching and making sure that I did everything right. <laughs> Are you Shia? I'm Shia, but I don't go to, we don't pray in the way of Ismaili Muslims. So we don't have the same rituals as yeah. those guys do. And, um, you know, the dangers that I've been in, mm. driving to San Francisco when an earthquake happened, there were no flights going on. So I drove, mm -hmm. I went at, uh, I left at 5 o'clock in the evening, drove all night come up to that highway that had collapsed. And I'm standing underneath, I'm dead, flat, tired. Absolutely ready to fall down. And then at six o'clock, you're looking for a hotel to stay. And it went to the Hyatt in Oakland. And I said to the doorman, I said, hey, did, was this building moving at all during the earthquake? <laughs> yes, about six feet from side to side. <laughs> and I said, yeah, you know, I'm gonna get in there, but I'm gonna ask for a lower floor to be better. And, uh, I slept with my shoes on and my pants on, and just in case something happened during the night. <laughs> because have, all the bricks were down. You could see the destruction. You see the bridge, the, 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 the highway, the Nimitz freeway, that right. collapsed. And it was like um, the cars were sandwiched to about an inch, or what not, wow. about an foot of space. Totally collapsed. So the things yeah. that I've done in my life, the dangers that I've faced, the threats that I've faced, uh, it's been an incredible experience, and maybe I should write a book about that someday. Yes, you should.